Hey, Bobo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys. Sorry, I've got my little owl up. Um, I was not planning to come on, but I just had something happen and I was listing an item that I listed on my live show the other night. And um, sometimes items have recalls. So eBay will sometimes let you know. So I'm going to show you what this looks like, how you can check, and what you should do. So let's get started here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up this so I can show you my list with me. Okay, so over on my reseller testing Bolo products, I do a list with me like working hangout and I was listing this doll. So let's check out the footage here. I've got her sitting to the side here. Not sure what I'm going to do with her. Okay. Um, well, this one's interesting. There's some interesting items here. Okay. How cute she is. Look at that face. That is so cute. Um, this one is made. It says Anna, number 129, North American Bear Company, exclusive for Pottery Barn Kids. I like the sounds of that. Um, again, like what is up with the hair on these dolls? Um, this one, this hair is cool. It's curly. It's curly like mine. Mine used to be curlier. Okay, look at its little legs. Oh, they've got wires. They bend, you guys. Oh my goodness, look how cute. That is cute. Look at the little chick. Oh, I love it. So cute. Okay, let's look it up. So it said Anna. And we'll look up Pottery Barn plush. There she is, number 129. It says 2006. Not selling for very much. I thought they would uh, sell for more. Pottery Barn kids can do really, really good. Okay, so just a quick little tip. Just because there are others listed does not mean you should list yours. And we're going to go into this more in just a second. But what I wanted to show you is I looked this item up on eBay. There were solds. But this is what happened when I tried to list the item. So I am over here at Create My Listing. And I get to the bottom and I go to submit the listing. And right here it says, this item you are about to list may be subject to Consumer Product Safety Commission recall. Check the CPSC website for recall information before selling this product on eBay. Keep your family safe during the holidays and all year long by signing up to receive direct email notifications about recalls at www.cpsc.gov. It says it is illegal under federal law to knowingly sell or resell a recalled product, making even more important for eBay sellers to receive direct recall notices from CPSC or to check CPSC's website for recall information before any consumer product is posted for sale online. Okay, so let's click on this CPC, CPSC website right here. And that is gonna take me over here. Now I want to search recalls so let's click on this and I'm going to put in Pottery Barn right here. I am going to click category and I'm going to find dolls and I'm going to see if my doll is actually on here. I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to scroll down. Now let's see dolls recalled by Pottery Barn kids due to strangulation hazard. This was from September 8th of 2011. Now, this doll's face looks the same. The hair looks the same or very similar. It's hard to... It looks pretty similar. Um, 
so the hazard it says is the hair on the Chloe and Sophie dolls may contain loops that are large enough to fit around a child's head and neck. And the headband on the Audrey doll is if loosened can form a loop that fits around a child's head and neck. These loops can pose a strangulation hazard remedy. Consumers should take the dolls away from children immediately and cut the looped hair of the Chloe and Sophie dolls and remove the headband of the Audrey doll to eliminate the hazard. Consumers may also call Pottery Barn Kids for instructions on how to return the affected dolls for a merchandise credit. About 81000 in the United States and 1300 in Canada. Okay. So it says these loops now can form a loop. Okay. So I don't know, you guys. Um, I guess the hair is long enough for strangulation. I I don't know if it has to happen to somebody and that's why they recall it or what. But um, let's go back over here. And I'm going to not list this item. I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to save as draft. It's going to take me back into my drafts. And you guys, I'm going to find it. And I'm going to click here. And I'm going to delete. Now, maybe, maybe I'm going to delete. Hello. There we go. Delete. Now, my doll's name is Anna. Okay. So, I don't have the dolls that they mentioned, but the hair looks the same. It popped up as a recall when I listed it. So I'm not going to take the chance that it could be this doll. They just did not mention Anna. Does that make sense? You guys, I mean, obviously have to make your best judgment on a situation like this. Um, could it have been okay because it was Anna? Maybe mine's hair is different than the other two. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to chance it. And I suggest if there's a recall that pops up, something in your title has triggered that to pop up. And that is probably going to be triggered in the eBay system again, which could cause your item to get taken down. And you could get a penalty on your account or a suspension. I don't know that for sure. I'm not exactly sure how it works. It may be something you could fight because it was a different doll. The doll's name was actually on the tag. Um, it said Anna. I think it said Anna or it had a number. Um, I don't talk about the doll the entire video. But anyway, if you want to go and check out my reseller testing Bolo products, um, I do live working hangouts on that channel. For the last two videos, I was listing plush. So you guys can learn how I list plush. I pull up screen shares like you saw. I show you how I search comps. And then I actually list the item. I draft it. So if you're interested in that or just hanging out while you work to get some motivation going, definitely check that out. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.